What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101 and I'm holding the power of the sun in my fingertips. This is the Olight M3 XS UT. It's basically the Javelot and it's like holding a flare gun, explosion, lightsaber, whatever within your hands. This thing is awesome. This is a super cool piece of equipment. I'm not going to mount this to a gun, obviously, because this bulb head, I don't even know if this will fit around any, any rail system. You can see how wide it is. It literally is about the size of my palm. It is just a very big flashlight. I guess you could put it on a weapon light and make, like, make it a weapon light, but you don't want to blind kids permanently. You just kind of want to distract them. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the settings. So it's got a tail switch to turn it on. And then you have your, this is the, believe it or not, this is the lowest setting. And then you have your middle setting. And then you have your high setting. So this thing is just a stupid bright light. I'm going to go ahead and show you out on the back of my woods. I'm going to spin it real quick. You can see the targets out there. This thing is one of the brightest lights I have ever seen in my entire life. So this is low setting. This is great. It's got a really compact beam, which I really like. It's got a wide beam, but it also has a very compact beam, which I really, really appreciate because it just enables you to see much farther. I've used this to uh, cross like thousand foot fields in order to try and spot people. So there's that. And then we'll go to the medium setting. And then you can see like it's lighting the entire grass up in front of me. This is just a huge bright light. And this is not even the brightest setting. This is literally like shooting sun in someone's face. And then that is the brightest setting right there. And you can basically, you can see how far I can light up. I can see people clearly probably four or five trees back through this brush. This light is insane. The bulb head does get a little bit warm when you leave it on the highest setting for a while. Um, but like I said, I'll just go ahead and paint it. I'll go ahead and go back to, there's the low mode still extremely bright and you have your medium mode and then your high beam is just retarded but this light is super cool this is probably actually the coolest light that i have ever played with just because of how big it is and how just it's just a really cool light um it's also got a really nice texturing on here which i really like i appreciate it. i think it's it's like good it just grips in your hand well what i was using this for i had my gun in my right hand and we were playing a night event and i had two guys to my right and a guy to my left, I believe. And I would just hold this by a tree. I would hold this up and then I would spray and just use this and I would span across the field. We were searching for a sniper and then two of his other gunmen. And this was just really cool to be able to use that. Um, unfortunately, GoPros really can't record in the dark and it was a pretty like slow paced, two hour long game. So it wasn't really exciting. Um, but this light is super cool. Probably my favorite light that I have purchased for my collection. I really like my Claris light. I've liked the Surefire, I've had one sure, one or two Surefires that I've owned, um, but this is the brightest light that I've ever owned and it's just really cool and really big and this is something I would really kind of keep in my car as like an emergency situation or hey I'll go show this to my friends at night. Um, I wowed two of my friends with how bright it was and it was just super cool. So thanks for watching this video guys, uh, I love you guys, you guys are my absolute favorite. Um, if you want to get one of these I will leave a link in the description where you can purchase one because obviously I don't want to show you cool stuff and then not show you how to buy it because if I saw a cool thing I would want to buy it too. This has been Alec Mac 101 and I'll see you guys later.